Really? A nine? Didn't, I mean, wasn't there a time in your life when you shot a 45? <clears throat> yeah, in my younger days, you know, as, as my advanced age keeps sneaking up on me, I'm looking for every, every little trick I can, and the nine millimeter kicks a little less. Oh, okay. And I know what your concern is. Those exterior hits yeah. are gonna cost me points. Just worried about but that But all too. scores the same if you shoot them in the middle, Sonny. Okay. <laughs> you know, one of the things I like to work on the most is gun control. The actual gun control I'm talking about is controlling the gun, right? Keeping it from flipping and keeping the gun on target. I want you to do some shooting for me. Go okay. ahead and step on up and draw. So when you shoot this drill, there are different things different people tell people to do, like focusing on the front sights. I don't care about any of that. I want you to hold the gun as firmly as possible. All right. Shoot the shots in a progressive manner, bang, 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 and pick up the pace just a little bit. See okay. if you can tighten it up like I did there, little boy. Oh, okay, all right, I'll work it. Stand by. All right. Obviously, you've practiced a little bit and you shoot really well. Go ahead and load up and uh, holster, get ready for your next string. So when I watch your gun move and I'm seeing the right things, what I always want is for the gun to not move the body around of the okay. shooter, and I don't want to ever see the muzzle of the gun go below the line of the target. All right. I don't really care how much it flips. I care how long it stays out of position. And the real trick is to hold on to the gun very, very tight. A lot of people talk about relax and things like that. That's not what it's about. It's hold on tight and resist its movement. Okay? If you do everything right, the gun will flip very predictably, all right? And you'll know if you're doing it correctly is as you speed up the pace, an errant shot should always go up. Okay. Show me. All right. Same thing again. Same thing, but okay. pick up the pace faster. Okay. There you go. So you see how your last shot is towards the top of that target? Yep. That means you're controlling the gun pretty much perfect. Somebody who has a problem will always come back to you and say, okay, I shot low shots, so I need to slow down. In reality, think about it. If you ever shoot a shot low, it means you've actually moved the gun below the line. Yep, okay. Do it one more time and pick up the pace. Okay, stand by. Okay, so that's how I, that's how I, I, I teach people to control the gun, as I teach them hold on tight as they can, let them go up. See, I never care about shots going high. Another catch is that most people can't actually fire the gun faster than they can control it. Okay, so all the way holding on, not 80, 20, 60, no, 40, don't try 100 to percent and 100 percent. Don't try to figure out how much this hand is doing compared to this hand. Use 100 percent of that hand, 100 percent of that hand, hold on tight as you can. Give me one more. Okay. Okay, perfect. So now we can work on the timing portion of it. She so had a couple shots high, yep. so now we actually have to increase the pushing forward and down of the gun, Okay, but that's another story. 